Good evening, everyone. My name is Ethos, it's Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. I've got them uh, scrolling a lot faster today because uh, I figured five seconds is gonna be enough for you guys. But the last question that I asked was, if you had one superpower, what is it and what would it be? And uh, you guys, you came through for me. Like I had 79 comments yesterday, we have 80 something today. That's an amazing, amazing response. And that's within the first 12 hours. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do from here on out is if there's that many comments, I might just choose like the top 20. So be sure that you're the first person to comment on the question that I ask and I'll, I'll throw it up there for you. But let's do this. Okay, so. Um, Somebody was asking me, Code, what about inside the paint shop? Isn't there presence in this paint shop? So I'm gonna go down inside. I'm, I'm over in the tropics right now, and we're gonna head down to the paint shop. I'm just gonna show you that there's nothing down there. And then uh, I'll come back up here to the top, and we'll we'll run the maze a couple of times. That way you guys can uh, see the amazingness of the maze maze. Uh, by the way, the the paint shop's this way. If you didn't know, skip the first turn to the right. Go to the second turn. You just follow it around here to the left. It's going to be your next left right here. And then a right. A lot of people are like, Code, how do you have the whole thing memorized? I've been playing this for so long. I mean, this is, this is like my hometown. That'd be like asking, hey, how do you get to the the coolest burger shop in town? And I would be like, oh, well, you just go here. And that's that's what the maze is to me. People are like, where's the best place to get some blue wood? I'm like, well, you gotta go over to the cave, and you know. So, that's a that's the case. By the way, this picture was drawn by Mummy, Amazing Gaming. If you don't know who that is, Amazing, shout out to you, shout outs. By the way, I also know that that's not a it's not a solitary giraffe right there. I know there's something about the 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 picture itself, the secret. I know it. I know. You might ask Mummy. She knows what it is. Anyhow. Alright. So, no presents are, are present inside the um, picture shop. The Photoshop. A lot of you guys were asking about the how to get to it. I did a video on the exact directions a long time ago. Anyhow. Okay, everybody knows that this is the beginning. So, I'm not going to bother with going all the way up to the top. But I will turn on my filter filters so you guys can see. I know I don't need it. You will need it because you, you can't see correctly. Let's go to the filters. Color corrections. And since he's since he's changed it to like the true darkness, like it's so, so much harder to see. But that should give you a little bit of insight into the world. It's like a night vision. So here we go. First things first is we need to go over this direction. We're gonna go up to the top of the map. Well, what I call the top of the map, but that's only because of the way it was drawn and the way that I memorized the map. Little J hook right here. Check the door, door number one, right there. It's closed. Well, let's go around the side here. Well, I can kind of look at both. Turn to the right, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost missed it. Gotta, gotta do a complete U-turn. And then this is the uh, the wishbone. Door number three. Right there. And door number two. <gasps> door number two is open. Yay. That's good. Door number two is open. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. Sweet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now I'm lost. No, Code. How did you get lost? Oh, wow. I am super lost. Hold up. Where did I go? Okay, okay. Where 
in the world is Carmen San Diego. Okay, okay. Whew. That was crazy. But I made it around. That was that was super weird. Uh hold on, let's let's see. Why why did that I get lost up there? Hold on. Uh lumber map wiki. There we go. There we go. There's the lumber map. And what am I missing here? Check into wiki, yes, yes, where's the cave? We need the cave. Locations, caves and tunnels. There we go. Ouch. Ouch. River tunnel, lost cave, maze. There we go. Come here, you. So I've got a picture of the uh, the thing up right now. Let's go to properties. Right here. So cut right here it is. This is this is the whole maze. So uh, let's see. Came up here. Nope. Came over here. That's door number one. Came down over here. Door number three, and then door number two was right here. Oh, that's what happened. So I just should have stuck to the left. I got lost up in this stuff, and then I came down here, and that's that's the cave crawler. So when I come back, I need to go to the left, and then I need to go right, and then right. And that should take me back out and do the thing. So, all right, let's do this. Uh, I don't actually need any blue wood, so let's just head back out the direction that we came. Uh oh, they closed it on us. Oh wait, no, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Okay. Doo, doo, doo. Oh wow, I'm really going the wrong way. <sighs> okay. So the normal path that I would do would be going straight across, right there. I'd go straight, but we're not going straight this time. We're going to go this way, follow this up, and now we're just going to follow it to the right. If I stick to the right, whoa, stick to the right, that should take me to door tip number two. There we go. Now we're up in that like upper echelon spot. Now we go back down. A little windy S curve. And this should be door number two. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, so there's there's door number three. We just came back out of door number two. Long hallway. Taking a left. Go across the, the middle section of the H right here. And down through here. Taking a right. And door number five? No. Four. Door number four. I think. I think. Door number five. And now. Door number seven. Door number six. Boom. That's it. And that's how you do all of them. That's the that's the whole thing. That's the whole shebang. So let's head let's head back out. And I will go over to Link's Logics just to show you that there's nothing there as well. Since uh Somebody somewhere somehow is going to comment and be like, Oh, you didn't check Link's place. What about Link? So, I did. I checked everywhere, guys. There's no other presents. It's just the three for this this year. Okay? So, uh, I got to think of a question to ask you guys. What, what would a super awesome, cool question kind of be? Filters. 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 Hold on. Bro. Filters. There we go. Oh, it's so, it looks so washed out and dull after the filter gets turned off, you know? Let's see. Um, oh, 
don't know. What kind of question would it would I wanna ask you guys? What kind of question would you want? Hmm. I'm at a loss for words. I don't know. I don't... <sighs> Some of you might be going, Code, no, don't drink the soda. You need to stick with coffee. I did, but I, I ran out of coffee, and this is from dinner, so. And it's gone anyway. So I was I was trying. I was trying to make it through. Anyhow. Um, I would say let's... Let's do this. If you could visit any place in the world, say for vacation or for something like that, because that's something that we have right now. We've got the corona going on and nobody can travel. Everybody's kind of locked down and restricted. If you had one place in the world where you could go, where would you go? What would you, what would you see? What would, what would What would the thing that changes your perspective of the world hey i want to go to france hey i want to go to germany hey i want to go to belgium i want to i want to go deep sea diving in the atlantic whatever the case may be oh and i gotta answer your question for my, my own question if i had one superpower and uh only one i think it would be the ability to control time i think that would that would be fun just because, like, if you wanted to slow down time, speed up time, stop time, stuff like that. And, you know, it might give you that little bit of an edge for uh, the, the one time that you'd really need it, you know? Making it to the bus on time, uh, getting your homework done on time, getting some more sleep on time. <laughs> Pausing life and then getting over the coronavirus and then continuing life. Stuff like that. And the context would be different. Who, who knows? You know? Maybe maybe it, it would be for for just yourself. Or maybe you could bring your friends with. Whatever the case may be. So, the question to you is, where would you want to go? Any place in the world? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me. Yeah, Ashkins Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool, too. You were here. You watched. You had fun. Love you guys very much for that. Um, a lot of people were asking about the coronavirus. Yes, I have corona. Yes, my family is, like, my whole family's got it. Um, we are doing okay. Okay, I, I want you guys to know, yes, thank you for all the praises and thank you for all the speedy recoveries and everything else. Um, it feels like a bad cold and we're keeping an eye on all of our symptoms and if it gets worse or if we need to, we will go to the hospital as needed. For now, we're relaxing, we're quarantined, we're isolated from the world, so we're okay. Love you guys very much, and thank you so much for, for all the comments and for the for the messages. We will talk to you very soon. And outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.